I always felt about television that I didn't really belong in it. I was, like a lot of people, I always thought like Graham Kennedy was born in the back of a television set, you know. I could never imagine Graham having any other life except television. That's one of the stars I can think of that I grew up on television with. So I always thought of myself as, uh, as not really belonging. I was a viewer who was having a lend of the uh, television cameras when I felt like it. I'll draw the raffle and get off. Uh, by the way, ladies and gentlemen, the fabulous door prize tonight is a fantastic four-course dinner for two at my place. <laughs> and the lucky winners, the lucky winning couple, are sitting in box U. <laughs> Now, I have no idea who the lucky couple are, <laughs> but I'm no snob and they're welcome at my place. <laughs> Let's just get yourself on the 174 bus from Chatwood Station. <laughs> Tell the driver to let you off at Oag's place. <laughs> well, listen, if the dogs go for you, keep your arms folded and smile at them. <laughs> and just one thing, please, um, lucky couple, whoever you are, try and be there at six o'clock sharp because the missus likes to have dinner over with and the washing up done by seven when the Sullivans comes on, OK? I never wanted to um, change television. I just wanted to do something on it that was a bit different to what everyone else was doing. So I, it also looked like a good way to make a quid. And uh, there were no Australians on, on Australian television, so I thought there's a gap there.